Welcome back to the service channel training video series. This video will cover how to search for a service request, how to view information pertaining to that service request, and also how to view paperwork attached to that service request. To begin, we will tell you a little bit about how Johnson Controls Fire Protection defines a service request. For each service call, deficiency, and inspection Johnson Controls Fire Protection performs, a unique service request number is assigned. Service Channel will allow you to then search for these service requests, which contain vital information such as their creation date, schedule date, work date, their status, as well as any paperwork associated with it. This paperwork can include inspection reports, quotes, and service acknowledgement documents. Now we'll show you how to search for a service request in Service Channel. This is the home page you will arrive at immediately after logging in. There is a search box available on the left side of this page where if you have your service request number handy, you can enter it into the box. Select by work order number in the drop down. And then click search. Please also note that if your company utilizes purchase orders, you can also search for your purchase order using the drop down to pull up its associated service request. In most cases, you will not know your service request number. In that scenario, we will click the work orders link to bring up the service request search screen. The left side of the work orders page will contain our filter options to help find particular service requests based on the criteria that is selected in this section. The first and most important filter is the date range. You can select a range of dates based on the service request call date, schedule date, or completion date. The next important filter is the box name location ID. By clicking this box, you can search on the location name, address, city, or state or province. By clicking any of these options, you can input the associated search criteria in the box below. Please note the search box accepts wildcard searches, meaning you can input the beginning of any of the options in the preceding dropdown, followed by the wildcard to perform a fuzzy search. In this example, we will search for all addresses beginning with the number 50. Continuing down the list of filters, the next important filter is named trade. This filter is the type of system each service request is servicing at your facility. Johnson Controls Fire Protection uses a two letter acronym to abbreviate each type of system. So please reference the table on screen to learn the meaning of each abbreviation. The valid trades to select in this filter are the ones beginning with the word system followed by the two letter acronym. The next important filter is named category. This category will filter to the type of service request and will help search for either phone in service requests inspections, or deficiencies. Please reference the table on screen for the most commonly used service channel categories and what type of work they pertain to. The last important filter is named status. This dropdown will allow you to filter service requests that are in open, in progress, or in a completed status. Once you have the appropriate filters selected to find your service request, Click apply to complete your search and the results will appear in the middle of the screen. For each service request found in the search, we'll now see all of the information associated with it. We can see the status, the category, the service request number, the location information, the dates, as well as a brief description of what the work is for. If you'd like to view or download any paperwork against the service request, click the attachments button located at the bottom of each work order's information. From the attachments page, scrolling to the bottom of the page will show each attachment uploaded against the service request. If there are multiple attachments uploaded under the service request, each file can be opened individually by clicking on each file name. Alternatively, you can click the download attachments button to download and save all of the attachments into one zip file. That concludes our demo on how to search for service requests and view their associated paperwork. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial.